Well, here's a cool video for you. A tip that I found out on the iOS 13. If you're trying to share a screen or a website with somebody and you like to scroll the whole website so you're not having to sit there and take a screenshot, take a screenshot and piece them together. Um, I've also seen an app called uh, Taylor that will stitch them together so it's just one long stream. But if you're using the Safari browser on your uh, iPhone, you can actually take a screenshot of the phone just by pushing the screenshot buttons. On my phone it's the two upper buttons. And you'll see here that you see the screen. I noticed something a little different though. On, on the upper page here, you can see in this section here it says full page. I'm going to click that and you can see the whole uh, image thing, uh, the whole image to the right here. Um, it actually scrolls, you can actually see the full page width there. So I can then click done on the upper left hand corner and save PDF to files. And it's going to ask me where I want to put it and what I want to call it. I'm just going to leave it as default as melt in your mouth cookies. Uh, you can call it whatever you want. I'm just going to put it in the documents there. Click save and it's now saved as a PDF in my documents. So I'm going to go to my documents folder. Um, oops. Files here. I want to scroll down to. Um, I'm in the iCloud iCloud Drive, and I'm going to look for my documents. And I think it was started with an M, so I can go down to. I could actually search for it. Probably be faster, but uh, there's your mount, melt in your mouth cookies, and it's a PDF file now uh, that I can send to somebody for this recipe. Um, of course. Um, be nice if you could take out all the ads and stuff but um, so this is a cool feature that you could use uh, for various different reasons uh, but this is just one of them that I found uh, hope you like this tip and, and come back for more